Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another great episode of Discovering the Beauty. Today, we're here on IU Bloomington's campus to find out the truth about the dehibernation of female students. That's right, we're going to see the rarest specimens of females in their natural habitat. And if we're lucky, we'll get to see some of the most poisonous females. Oh, here comes one right now. You'll notice this is your typical Sarasta tooth. The winter has been harsh and has made her put a lot of clothing on to disguise her beautiful body with the hips and the bosom. But wait, she sees a glimpse of sunlight. The sweatpants come off and so does the over ill-fitting baggy sweatshirt. There it is, the little black dress. <laughs> the bosoms are free for the frats, and she's ready to party. The Sarasta tooth, what a beauty! This is quite a rare sight. Only on Bloomington's campus in the springtime. Kill Rice! <laughs> there she goes to the locally water watering hole. Along, oh, here comes another. This is how outrageous. We get to see this natural beauty in her habitat. We could be on Third Street because this is the avid jogger. She wears tons of clothing because to keep her body warm. From the bouncing, it exerts a lot of energy. But once it, the rarest sighting, the avid jogger strips away the sweatpants and the sports bra comes up here. There she goes, ready to jog, her hair bouncing in the wind and she's ready to be catcalled by all the boys on campus. <laughs> Quite amazing. This is beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Here comes the most poisonous of them all. The feminist lesbian. <laughs> So get your fill, oh, prickly. <laughs> 